This is John Young with the Disc Jockey News and Disc Jockey News TV. Today we're looking at some more gear that's coming out of the back of the truck. That means that this is gear that I have been using in the field and we've been playing with and now I can give you some thoughts and ideas. Today we're going to be looking at the Evox. These are the new speakers from uh, RCF. We're looking at the Evox. This is the J8. We're going to look at the J8 and we'll look at the J8 mix in the next video. This past weekend they were at a wedding. A lot of you follow me on my social media channels and such and you saw that this was a wet wedding meaning there was a lot of rain and that does play into these speakers just a little bit. Now we'll, we'll go into more detail on that. But the J8, what it is, is we have, this is the mix right here, but this the front is the uh, same look. It's got a 12 inch subwoofer in it, then it has, conveniently located in the back for easy transport, is the eight inch, excuse me, eight two and a half inch drivers that are in the top. This will of course mount up on top they come with these nice little travel bags that have space for our cords. They have a nice heavy duty long cord there. And then, let's see, I've got things kind of put together here. I'm gonna pull these two. These are the stand itself. Now the stand comes with these little plastic clips, which are what I, you can put on the, the, the pipe and such, or the uh, speaker stand, to run the wire nice and discreetly down the side. It has, of course, the power, I should say the, the cable, it isn't a power cable, it is a speak on connection, and it plugs in and basically powers the satellite up on top. Two piece pole mount, so I can use just one, it can be extended, or I can use two and extend it up to the height I need, which I ended up using both of them and extending, so I had it up above everyone's head. Nice compact, screws into the top of the, the subwoofer, and off you go. All quick and easy, right? There's where we go. What I really like about the J8 is that it has a room filling sound quality. It's built on that array, that array speaker system that we have been hearing so much about. The Evox systems are all using this and the big difference between this and the other Evox is a plastic cabinet. Most of the Evox are wood, this is fully plastic. It actually was a benefit on Saturday night. The little J8 was able to fill a room very well, actually the, the pair of them were able to fill a room very well, 150 guests, two levels in this particular room. Sound was filling and great, and it really, I was really, really surprised about it. Now the J8 compared to the J-Mix, the J8 is just the speaker, amplifier speaker. It has the built-in technology and such for the sound and all the different little things it does, and you can find it more on their website on that. But they have built all that DSP, that digital signal processing, into the unit. So you have your power, you basically can set it for flat, or if you want to give it a little bass boost at lower volumes, I didn't use that during the dinner time. I did on my EQ just because I wanted to see if it would sound better. I turned the bottom up just a little bit. It did, yeah, there was more bass, but really going at 12 o'clock compared to one o'clock or two o'clock really didn't matter that much in the quality of the sound. It sounded really, really good and the guests were responding very well to it. But we have just a couple of things, a line mic input. Um, it's, there's not a lot of technology in this one as far as inputs and outputs. That's what the J Mix is for. This is meant to be that speaker. You plug it in from your board, do a little EQing if you need to or if you feel so desired. Otherwise, it sounds great right out of the box. That's the way they're designed to be. Anyway, so this is the E-Box. This is the new J8, which is a plastic cabinet. Why it was so important that this plastic cabinet existed this past weekend, I'm gonna just tip the mix up and they're the same on the bottom. It has little plastic feet under it, which most cabinets have a rubber or plastic feet. Actually, I think these are rubber. And then of course the bottom of it is plastic. We had a lot of rain. There was 10 inches of rain that fell in about 45 minutes from what I've been told. I was inside performing a wedding, so I wasn't exactly sure. What ended up happening is that the water came in, soaked in under the, under the building, and it was coming across our dance floor area. I could see it coming down the wall, nice, and it's fairly slow, methodical, just kind of spreading out and such. It was within eight feet of my speakers, which were on the floor on the side of the stage. I looked out and thought, oh, I need to get that, uh, probably get that speaker put up on a stage just to keep it out of the water. I turned around, my groom was there. I said, hey, I'm gonna go move that speaker. It'll be just a second and da da da. 30 seconds later, from when I saw the water being eight feet away, the water was all of a sudden under the speaker. Now, it only got the four little feet wet, so I picked it up, put it on a stage, and all was good. But having a plastic cabinet in that situation, 
I would have been really freaking out if it would have been a wood cabinet and that wood cabinet would have been getting wet, having water on it. Uh, a typical cabinet that is, is wood and is really close to the floor. It could have gotten in there and soaked the bottom of it really quick and then I might have had some problems if the inside wood wasn't treated and sealed properly. Plastic, I didn't have to worry about that. Thankfully, I got it off the floor in time, so it's just the feet were a little bit wet. Then the other one had to come up because we had an inch and a half of water all around the stage. That's a story for another time. Anyway, so the Evox J8 and the J8 Max. I'm really excited about these. I was really happy with the sound. I'll put a link in the description so you can go check these out. But this is a, a new speaker here from RCF. This is John Young with the Distracting News.